In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do a screencast with QuickTime Player. This is the QuickTime Player. I'm going to double click and open QuickTime and then go File and I could do a new movie recording a new audio recording, or I, what I want to show you is a new screencast recording. This controller comes up. I always move it over to the side because I don't want it to be seen when I'm recording. Uh, I must check to make sure the internal microphone is set up, which it is. And the reason I know the internal microphone is set up is I see these waves of sound when I talk. Once the microphone's set up, you'll see this message. Click to record for full screen or drag. Click and drag, which is what I'm going to do for just selecting what I'm working on. Then you'll see the start recording. So once you hit that button, the screencast will begin. So I'll click start recording. Wait a few seconds pause to make sure you have started. You need a little lead time. And now I'm going to show you how to find out how to do things like this screencast. And we're going to go into the Tidbit website, Tech Tidbit website. You double click on it and up comes Lauren's Tech Tidbits. Now I'm going to do a little tour of Tech Tidbits. If you're interested in learning about apps, I have posted some apps that I have found with comments. Click on an app, it will direct you to the App Store. And all of these apps I tried to give you free apps. So if you need famous quotes, here's famous quotes. So we're going to go back to the Tech Tidbits. Now, these are just a spattering of applications. I did some subject-specific PDF files. So for the music teacher, I did this PDF where I have listed, and I know it's a little small for this video, but the name of the application on top and a hyperlink on the bottom. And that also goes to the app, uh, Apple website, and tells you about the application. So that's the PDF file. You can go back now. This is my PDF file that could you could download it if you wish. Uh, excuse me, let me make that correction. This is the App Store. This is the PDF. And that PDF can be downloaded onto your computer or iPad or even your iPhone or an Android. And this is just a list of applications that I saw that looked interesting, had decent reviews, and I thought maybe send this to the music teacher, which I did. So I have utility applications, science applications, so I showed you uh, the app page, and now let's look at the how-to videos. This is where this video is going to go when I finish with it. Here, if you want to know how to create a Google Form, you could learn or advance forms and add video to a Google Form, or maybe you want to use Comic Life. There are written instructions here and also videos. I, did a, I just did a screencast for Sign Up Genius and show people how to delete a person who signed up. Here's the setup for uh, Write About This. And the other page is a Schoology page with some intro instructions and videos. Finally, the web resources. The web resources are technology uh, websites, Web 2.0 sites, that may be an application that's an online application or a great reference like the Common Core Conversations. Everything 
You want to know about Common Core, app, uh, different organizations that support Common Core, that have wonderful resources. And look at all of these resources. And they go on and on, all in one website. So let's go back here. Uh, this is where I had asked the math teachers to look at some sites I found that I thought would be useful for everyone, uh, and they reviewed them. Some of these sites I reviewed, but when it came to math, I wanted the math teachers to look at it and see if these would be useful for you, and that's what's up here. Another great resource is Teaching with the Library of Congress. And they have a fantastic program. They have tutorials. They show you how to use the Library of Congress. They have teacher resources. Here's the teaching tools section. Uh, they have a, maps, newspapers, a lot of resources here free for all to use. Go back. Now let me just close that out and go back to the tech. Tech Tibbet site and uh, take a look. If this website is subject specific, like some math sites, I listed math, I listed music. This is a fabulous site for, for resources for K 12 educators and music, and it goes on and on and tells you about it. So please use this website. Uh, anytime I do anything for any one of you, I also post it on the Tech Tidbit, which can be found on the Prairie uh, page, Prairie Resources Tech Tidbits. So I'm showing you this site at the same time I'm trying to teach you how to do a screencast. When you're done with the screencast, click on QuickTime player and go file, excuse me, go to QuickTime player and quick QuickTime. This is how we stop the recording. And what will come up is the, uh, the uh, movie uh, screencast prompt to save it and I'm going to go how to video screen see. screencasting and I'm gonna save it to my desktop and I have stopped the video and the video is here on my desktop and that's all that it is to do screencasting I could open this up and I'm gonna edit this video because I started and stopped the video, uh, but let's see what it sounds like. Now I'm going to stop it here, but you could edit video also in QuickTime Player, and I will show you how to do that in another video. I hope this is useful because when you're teaching and say some kids are absent, you could just do a full screenshot of everything, you, uh, a screen, excuse me, a screen recording of your entire lesson, save it, and share it with your class, uh, with those students of your class who are absent, and they won't be behind anymore. This is a fabulous tool. So thank you, and I hope uh, this was helpful. If you have any questions, please email me.